Hi, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial. Today, I have a free tutorial regarding analyzing one aspect of your accounts receivable in QuickBooks. Anytime you extend credit to customers, you assume the risk that you won't get paid. This is the same type of risk that banks and credit card companies assume when they loan people and businesses money. The amount of the credit extended to customers should be carefully monitored and receivables should be as diversified as possible in order to mitigate the risk to your business operations. One of the key elements of managing receivables is identifying the risk each account represents. The greater the concentration of receivables with one or just a few customers, the greater the negative effect on cash flow if an account becomes uncollectible. The first thing we want to do is run an AR aging report. We're going to export this to Excel. We want to add a couple of columns in order to analyze the concentrations. In order to calculate the account concentration, all we have to do is divide each customer's total by the total amount of receivables. Just clean this up a bit. Now what we can do to highlight the larger concentrations is to use some conditional formatting. And in this case I'll put in 15%. And now just for comparison's sake we can go down at the bottom and calculate the average both account concentration and dollar amount for all the accounts. So when we're looking at the account receivable from the perspective of assessing risk, these three highlighted accounts stand out in relation to the, the total account average. We can measure the concentration risk using the concentration ratio. The ratio creates a weighted average of concentration risk. The higher the ratio, the greater the risk. The ratio will be a number between 0 and 1. Zero meaning there are no receivables, and one meaning that 100% of receivables are with only one customer. The ratio is calculated by squaring each concentration percentage, then totaling the accounts. And we don't need 17 decimal places. When we total this, we have a concentration ratio of 0 0.15, which indicates relatively low risk for the current account receivables of this business. Another way to look at the data is in a graphical format. In Excel, we can easily insert a chart so we can see a proportional representation of the account concentrations. If we right click here, we'll choose the data range. In this case, we'll use the percentage column. The chart doesn't have the legend label, so I'll add the customers so we can see which account each bar represents. And rather than have you watch me do all of these, I'll go ahead and fast forward the video a little bit. I'll try and increase the size of the legend so we can see it a little bit better. And also with multicolor charts, I like to use a dark background. It makes them a little bit easier to read. And I'm going to add the data labels as well. The 
graph makes it apparent which customers currently dominate the AR Adrian report. That fact by itself isn't a cause for concern because none of these accounts are currently past due. However, if these three were to be deemed uncollectible, it could have a significant negative effect on cash flow. What would normally be a debit to the bank account instead becomes a debit to a bad debt expense account. Although this particular situation isn't optimal, it could be much worse. I've seen companies where a single customer made up over 90% of AR on a regular basis. That puts the business owner in a situation of having to collect on an account in order to make payroll or other regular expenses. I also should point out that these concentrations usually change on a daily basis due to payments received and new credit sales occurring. The important thing to remember is that continuing large concentrations of credit extended to a select few customers increases receivable risk. Going back to our aging report, I can show you what happens to the account concentrations if one customer has a dramatic increase in receivables. Let's assume a new $20,000 sale on credit to Lou Plumbing. As you can see, the three accounts that were highlighted in red have dropped below 15%. Their concentration has declined in relation to the total ARs due to the new sale. Because Lou Plumbing now represents 43% of total receivables, the concentration ratio increases from 0.15 to 0.23, indicating increasing risk of the receivable accounts. When we go back to the chart, you can see how dominant the Lou Plumbing account has become in relation to the other accounts. QuickBooks does offer a way to control AR concentrations by allowing users to set credit limits. I'll open the Customer Center to edit a customer. On the Payment Info tab, there's a field to input a credit limit. In this case, I'll set this one at $1,200, which is just under the current amount owed by this customer. Now let's look at what happens when we attempt to invoice for an amount that would cause the total balance to exceed the credit limit. QuickBooks will show a warning message telling us the amount of the invoice will exceed the customer's credit limit. Depending on the user permissions, the user may still have the ability to override the limit and record the invoice. When evaluating risk, here are some of the issues to consider. Payment history is first and foremost the best indicator of a customer's probability to remit payment. The longer the period of solid payment history, the better the indication of prompt payment in the future. It's not uncommon for customers with large account balances to attempt to make partial payments. If full payment isn't going to occur within the terms, any partial payment received on a large balance due reduces the overall risk of the receivable concentrations. Routinely review the performance of your payment terms. Evaluate if customers are adhering to them and determine if the credit terms offered are in your business's best interest. Should you consider offering early payment discounts to customers? This is a somewhat complicated issue. There are issues both from a financial perspective and from a logistical perspective regarding the way QuickBooks handles discounts. In general, offering early payment discounts can speed up recovery times, but many times the cost of the discount exceeds the benefit. I'll be covering this issue more in depth in a future tutorial. Since concentrations are calculated using the existing total amount of receivables, the percentages will fluctuate. High account concentrations indicate not only under-diversified risk, but possible missed opportunities for sales to the existing customer base or the addition of new customers.